Hello and welcome to this Inkscape video tutorial. Just a couple of uh, things I've learnt recently that I wish I'd known earlier relating to uh, shape uh, manipulation. For example, if I draw a rectangle, something like that, I'll give it a fill and if I click the Select tool, yes we know we can drag its width or its height or both at once or by holding down control constrain the proportions but if I click a second time and I've done some rotation I might set up a diagram I put in dimensions numbers all sorts of things and I don't want to move it around again but I realize look I need to make it thinner or longer well if you want to make it proportionally bigger that's okay if I click away click there and control shift yes that maintains the rectangle shape but what if I just want uh, one dimension? For example, if I drag this, not a rectangle anymore. Control Z, or drag, you know, drag this one, not a rectangle anymore. It doesn't matter what I do. I can't um, change the width and just bring, say, the long sides closer together, leaving everything else perpendicular. But you can. There's a way. If you select the object, then after the rectangle tool, or click this icon, these two squares here. If you hold down Control you can move it that way and still maintain a rectangle. I can go that way as well and uh, you know keep the same width unless I really stray like that but you, you know you can uh, control Z drag from either one control drag it down or that way and maintain the rectangleness of the shape but uh, change say the uh, distance between the pair of parallel sides so I thought that was pretty good I'll delete that and the polygon tool similar sort of uh, hidden command it's only a simple one I didn't realize if I click the polygon tool it's on triangle let's see <laughs> what on earth have I got there if I put the zero to that that's because I was playing around with it before. I don't want any roundedness, or I want to show you how I can do roundedness. Again, I'll better go back to the polygon tool. And let's change it to a triangle, might be simpler. In fact, no, I'm going to delete that and start again. Polygon tool. Um, there, or asterisk. And I'll control shift to drag it down with the base flat, that's what I wanted. Now, Oh, it's back to I've selected it as a normal, normal object and again I can change the dimensions that way but uh, how can I round it? well go back to the polygon tool and holding down the shift key this little node here I can drag it one way to have a concave rounding or the other way to do that and even get it uh, you know, some quite interesting shapes this is how I got the other shape before. So I thought that was quite amazing as well. Is that the Adobe symbol or something almost? But uh, sometimes there are shapes like that that you want and you can do that by holding down shift again not with the select tool but with the polygon tool activated grab this uh, triangle, this little node sorry on the triangle and shift to drag it. But you'll notice that uh, the rounding in there is activated so that next time you do a triangle you get the same sort of thing which can be handy but if not just change this back to zero in there and enter you're back to a triangle so just a couple of little power tips i guess for inkscape and shapes thanks for watching